yes, could I get a burger with bacon, avocado, tomato, onion, red pepper, spicy mayo, cheese, egg, lettuce, and could you put a chicken patty? Yeah, I'm sorry, we have nothing like that here. Well then, I'll just make it myself. Hey everybody, this is Erin with another One Board Family Review. And today we're reviewing Burger Up, which is a two to four player game published by Rule and Make. Um, I got this game for Ryan for Christmas, not knowing anything about it. It was on his Amazon wish list. And the first time we played it, I thought I love this game and I think I like it even more than he does. Um, it's full of creativity and competition. And while you're trying to make burgers like Metasaurus Rex that has two meats and no salads on it, or Hawaiian Sunrise, which has fried egg and pineapple. Um, it's fun, and the kids like it too. So um, you want to build your burger and meet all the requirements, but you also want to rack up points. And you start with a clean bun, and you have a marketplace that includes three different cards, which makes it really competitive because sometimes everybody is going for the same card. So you're going to have cards that have two sides on them. Um, for example, this red onion is a salad card, whereas this mustard is a sauce card. And some of your cards are gonna require two different sauces and a salad. A great way to earn uh, money or points on this game is the longer one of these burgers stays on the table, um, the more points you gain when you finally uh, build your burger up enough to claim it. Um, so that's a cool factor. Um, another thing is, if you make a mistake, it's no problem. You can use your spatula to scrape off your mistake and start over. So you have a pristine side once you use it, uh, two points are deducted, and then a dirty side once you use it again. You can't use it anymore and four points are deducted. So that's a cool aspect of the game. Um, I couldn't really think of any negatives uh, for this game other than the fact that if your burger gets to a certain length, you kind of run out of table space and that's happened to us a couple of times so you want to make sure you have plenty of room to play. Um, the play time is not um, too bad at all. I would say it takes about um, 30 to 45 minutes or so and um, if you have kids it's a great game I would say probably for kids 10 and up. Uh, so check it out. It's an awesome game. It exceeded my expectation because I really didn't have one <laughs> but it was fun. Thanks for watching.